What's going on everyone, my name is Dre, and thank you so much for joining in today. So I really enjoy Assassin's Creed games. Yes, even the new ones that are RPG style. I've actually had a few videos on Assassin's Creed that have actually done pretty well for how small my channel is. And one common opinion amongst different videos that I've watched, not just mine, is that Assassin's Creed is no longer the game that it used to be anymore. You often see the common comment of, this is more like The Witcher, it's not even Assassin's Creed anymore. And I am not here to disagree with that. I actually believe that 100% Assassin's Creed, what it is now, is not what it used to be, you know, five, ten years ago. I'll go ahead and say this from the get-go. I actually do enjoy the current games. I did like Odyssey quite a lot, and I did enjoy um, Origins quite a bit as well. So this video is not going to be a rant of, you know, hashtag not my Assassin's Creed anymore or anything like that. And with that being said, this is what this video is actually about. So with the comments that I have read about how Assassin's Creed used to be a whole different kind of game and now it's an RPG and it's not the game that Assassin's Creed is supposed to be, I decided to go ahead and hop back onto the Assassin's Creed first game. So I actually still have my copy from Assassin's Creed that I bought at GameStop quite a long time ago. I have it for the Xbox 360 and I put it into my Xbox One S and it worked perfectly. It was just an update that it needed and I was able to play the game no problem. So this game came out in 2007. So it's almost 12 years since this game came out. 12 years. And let me just go ahead and say this. This game still looks great for what it is. For being an Assassin's Creed game, for again, having this game come out 12 years ago, this game still looks amazing. Now maybe because of the way that I record my content from my videos, I'm not, be, I'm not able to get it into the right format or the right setting on which the game actually looks like. So excuse that quality, that's, an, that's my bad. But again, for the game being more than a decade old, this game still looks really great. I was expecting to hop back into this game and from the get-go be like, wow, this is what this game used to look like. It's so much different. You know, the quality is so much better now. And surprisingly, no, it's not. The game still holds out. It still has a beautiful look. Getting to climb that first uh, viewpoint and doing a synchronized uh, view on it was amazing. It, it threw me back to the first time I played this title and I was like, wow, this game is just gorgeous. Just look at this big city that I can explore. The controls are still very similar as the Assassin's Creed kind of vibe. And even after playing Odyssey and hopping into Assassin's Creed 1, it, it wasn't that hard to get used to it. You know, there is a little bit of a different combination that you have to play on the original title, but it's nothing that it was, you know, too hard or too difficult to comprehend on how to play. Once you get the feel of it for a few missions or just 30 minutes into playing the game, you will understand how to play it and it just comes naturally once you're playing the game. And here's the part that after you play the prologue and you are getting to play the main game, you can't help but comparing it to the current Assassin's Creed titles. One of the biggest things that I realized is that you're not worried about your gear. You're not worried about picking up every little thing along the way. You were just playing the story that is meant for you to play. You stay focused on the story and you just want to progress what the story has to offer you. Like I said, there's no there's no side quests, there's no deviations here and there, or what kind of dialogue you're going to choose. It's just a straight up game that has a story and that's a story that you're going to follow. And once I started playing that, I missed it. I missed being able to just hop on and like I said, forget about gear and stuff like that. As much as I've actually enjoyed the RPG titles, it was nice to not care about them anymore while playing an Assassin's Creed title. Altair might have not been the favorite uh, protagonist in the Assassin's Creed titles, but he's still really likable. He's very serious, but that's that's his character. That's who he is. He gets things done according to the creed, at least after what happened at the beginning. And, it, you know, you, you don't hate the guy. You don't find him annoying. He's just who he is. It was also very nice to have the game focused on the assassins. Like, the whole game revolves about this creed that are assassins. You learn about the order the rules they have to follow. Everything in the game is what the title is, Assassin's Creed. In Origins, I, I got the point of it. It was basically explaining, hey, this is how the Creed got started, or you know, at least how it, it got its footage going, how they decided to become the hidden ones, which led on to be the Assassins. But in Odyssey, they were really stretching that line of connecting them to the Assassins. I, I know that if you go into the detail, you can really dive into the whole Assassin's Creed and how they all connect, but it, it just seems like they're really stretching that line of an Assassin's Creed game. So hopping back on to Assassin's Creed 1 was a nice change from the current games that I'm playing, you know, with Assassin's Creed and the previous titles. It, it, it was nice to see what Assassin's Creed used to be, you know, how it started. 
the main thing that everyone brings up and that I noticed when I was playing this game is that it's a lot more stealth. It's a lot more assassin oriented. You don't just go in there and fight everyone. You go in there and you try to assassinate a certain target after you do a lot of groundwork. That feeling of killing your target with one, one attack of your hidden blade still feels really amazing. Not needing to worry if your blade was level enough or if you were using certain skill. It's a blade that's going into someone's neck, so it's going to kill them. Now, is this game perfect? No, it has its flaws. And the main one, and probably the only one I'm going to go over, is how repetitive it is. And I know that every YouTuber that's ever made a video, Assassin's Creed 1, will mention this. And hey, I will as well. The game gets repetitive really fast into the game. The first two or three targets that you're trying to assassinate, the groundwork doesn't seem too bad, but then you realize that for the next target, you're going to have to do the same type of groundwork again, and the next target again, and so on and so on. And that is the biggest flaw of Assassin's Creed 1, how repetitive it gets. And even though as you progress through the game and you're getting better gear and better skills, that does help when you're fighting the bigger targets. But when you are doing the groundwork of eavesdropping or beating someone up, or pickpocketing, it's the same thing. No matter what your gear is, you're still doing the same grindy kind of work. So with that being said, this game wasn't perfect when it launched. It's definitely not perfect now. It's still, you know, the original Assassin's Creed. But it definitely has a lot of things that I wish that would have been able to stay around all the way to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So if you miss your original Assassin's Creed, or what it used to be, or what you think it was, I suggest you play this game. Uh, maybe get a used copy from GameStop or download it. It might still be at a really cheap price even if you just download it. At GameStop, I'm sure you can probably find a copy for $5 or less, and it's worth it. Now, it might sound like a broken record, but I will say this again. I do enjoy the newer titles. I know there are people out there that are not liking them, and that really sucks if you're not enjoying Assassin's Creed anymore. I'm sure you played some of the older titles, and that's what you love, that's what you fell in love with the series, and it's no longer that. I still believe that the next Assassin's Creed title will still be an RPG. That's just the road that they're going with. And it seems that if their fans weren't happy with it, it just... Hey, replay the original titles. That's that's all I can say because, again, it seems like Assassin's Creed is going to stay as an RPG game, at least for now. But I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping this up. And I just wanted to share my experience playing Assassin's Creed 1. It was just a random talk that I wanted to do. Um, why not? You know, I have a small YouTube channel and some people enjoy conversations like this. They just like to hear other people talk about the games that they like or dislike. Overall, I had a blast playing Assassin's Creed 1. I'm not gonna lie to you and say that I played the whole title. I just made it to a certain point where I thought I had experience enough and could have a conversation about it. I will definitely hop back into this game and finish it because I am planning on replaying the whole series. Again, why not? So if you enjoyed this conversation, please consider subscribing. I will definitely be doing more Assassin's Creed videos along with other videos. I also have a small series that I'm working on doing two minute videos about gaming topics and where I just do a really quick rundown of what's going on in the gaming topic with two minutes so I don't waste too much of your time if you don't have time to watch longer videos like this one. I know I can be all over the place when it comes to longer videos and I do appreciate your patience. I'm still very new at this so give me time and I hope to get a little bit better. But anyways I do appreciate you making it all the way to the end. Again thank you very much. My name is Dre. Have a wonderful day.